In India, in almost every industrial sector, we have some of the world's most energy efficient plants. However, we also have plants which use two times, three times, four times as much energy to produce a ton of cement or steel or the same product as the more efficient ones. Launched in 2007, PAT, or Perform, Achieve and Trade, was an unprecedented move to transform energy intensive industries in India. We took the 478 units, which together accounted for about 30% of the total energy consumption in the country, and told them that, listen, you guys, you have to improve your specific energy consumption. Cement industry was acutely in doldrum, 2002 to 2006. Actually, the cement industry were even not in a position to pay their salaries. That was the uh, situation there. It was a question of survival. With little money in hand, this team of engineers used low-cost innovations to raise their plant's productivity significantly. It was around this time they received the PAT Directive. We have increased the productivity. The coal consumption and the power consumption has gone high. When we have heard about the uh, PAT scheme, then it was compulsory to reduce the power consumption, coal consumption both. So we have done brainstorming uh, with all the uh, persons in our factory and decided to put vested recovery system, which has uh, resultant of the best heat which was going to the atmosphere. So we have utilized that best heat which was going to the atmosphere and we have utilized in generating the power. We were supposed to reduce the consumption by 4.9% and at the end of the cycle, almost we have achieved about 15%. Those companies who outperform their target under PAT would be rewarded with certificates, which they can trade with industries who underperform. Across the spectrum of top energy guzzling industries such as thermal power, aluminium, fertilizer, iron and steel, pulp and paper, textiles and chloralkali, PAT has set the ball of energy efficiency rolling. In its first cycle, it is expected to exceed the target of 6.7 million tons of oil equivalent of energy savings. For India's Bureau of Energy Efficiency, these are rewards of a decade-long journey. From industry to the ordinary consumer, they succeeded in selling the idea of energy efficiency like never before. In 2006, the Bureau launched a star rating scheme that rated household appliances on the basis of their energy consumption and then took this idea to consumers through aggressive advertising. Today, the average air conditioner or refrigerator that is sold is 25% more efficient than the one that was sold seven years ago. More than half of the total energy savings that have been achieved in this country have been because of the labeling program and the more efficient appliances that you and I have bought. But one appliance in particular is set to be the biggest game changer, the humble light bulb. Amid great fanfare, local legislators in the southern state of Andhra Pradesh are busy promoting the LED lighting program in their constituencies. Rinda balu pulo, yalla tu balu pulo istan raga pati, andra gorra rava chida. This hysteria has spread to the remotest corners of the country, but it is understandable. If you're given a 500 rupee LED bulb for just 10 rupees, all you need to do is return your old incandescent bulb to get a new LED one. So, who foots the bill for the steep discount given to consumers? 
the LED bulb consumes one-tenth the energy used by an incandescent lamp. As the electricity bills drop almost by half, the consumers will give easy monthly installments to their distribution company to repay the cost of the LED bulb. Beyond homes, cities are also lapping up the idea. Welcome to Vishakhapatnam, a city that lost most of its streetlights to a massive cyclone. Now it is relit 100% with LED lights. In six months, Vishakhapatnam's electricity bill has come down by half. Andhra Pradesh is leading the way. The rest of India is catching up quickly. The amount of energy used in most Indian households is very small, especially when compared to global uh, averages. However, even if they do a small bit of savings and you multiply it by a billion households, that's a lot of energy. The energy saved would be more than the energy used by many countries. That is the kind of opportunity we have.